hello and welcome to my channel okay uh, so today we are going to take up a unit called diversity diversity in the living world in the living world okay in this we are going to take up the first chapter called the living world okay so whenever we talk about living the first thing comes into our mind is what is the difference between a living organism and non living things okay so uh, uh, there are certain characters that comes into our mind okay so the thing we are going to discuss in this video is uh, what are the certain exclusive characters of living and non living organisms right so this is our first point of discussion so let's take up certain uh, characteristics that we generally use to differentiate between living and non living organisms starting with a growth okay so growth what do you mean by growth this is increase in size mass and number of cells as well okay so these three points that is increase in size mass and number of cells and a number of cells is called together called as the criterion for growth okay so we know that living organisms living organisms do grow and this growth is internal this let me raise this first and this growth is internal okay so in internal growth okay and when we are talking about non living organisms non living organisms or say objects or say things they show external external growth how you will you are going to ask me how external growth so let me take an example for that that is mountains okay so mountains if i'll take this as a mountain i know this is very bad mountain okay let me draw it again if i'm going to take this as a mountain or boulder or anything else like non living organisms okay there is an uh, you know deposition of uh, materials there is an deposition or accumulation of certain materials that is sand a uh, different particles you know dead remains etc they can be settled down on the surfaces of mountains and that will show an increase in the height of the mountain and this increase shows that it is an growth of a non living object and this is why this growth is not from the inside it is from the outside so it is called external growth of the non living objects they uh, non living objects never show internal growth okay so if i take uh, all three are as the criteria of growth then the, uh, then i can say that what i can say it is not a defining character not a defining property of living organisms okay clear up to here i guess everything is clear 
now we are going to take the second one okay second point is what if i take uh, let me take a more interesting thing that is response respond to stimulus okay response to stimulus how i am going to explain about response to stimulus that is if you are aware aware about your surrounding that is awareness towards the surrounding okay or uh, let me take an example if you are studying and uh, some person you know pass by so you know that some movement is there okay you, whether you see that person or not but you can feel that some movement is being going on okay so that is your awareness towards the surrounding if i take an example over here if i take an example or say exception mostly exception okay exception in this no this is not called as exception actually this is a condition in which a patient uh, if a patient is in coma so do we call it as a living organism because it is not responding to any of the uh, stimulus given to uh, him from the environment right means uh, if a person uh, is being uh, going to is uh, meeting this uh, patient uh, whether it is a family member of a friend or any other person or anything going around this person it is uh, that person is not responding towards the stimuli but do we call it as a living or do we call it as a dead i don't think so it should be called as a dead because the doctors are giving medicines to the patient okay through injections through anything okay so uh, if they are giving medicines and that body is responding towards these medicines responding towards responding towards these medicines then the person is called living okay alive because they this medicine act as an internal stimulus okay internal stimulus so the person is responding towards the internal stimulus that is being given by the doctors okay so this is as this does not show any uh, you know any exception over here that is not uh, that is being shown by the uh, only the uh, living organisms not uh, by the non living organisms so we can say that it is a defining defining property of a living organism this response to stimuli or stimulus can be called as consciousness okay consciousness this can be called as consciousness clear means growth is not a defining property but responding towards an stimuli is called as a defining property let me quickly move towards the third point that is the reproduction we know that reproduction is uh, the production what we do uh, what do you mean by reproduction this is the production of progeny which may or may not resemble their parents okay so this is what reproduction means so um, there this can be of two types 
asexual and sexual okay we'll take this topic in, later in detail but now for now i can write it down that there is an exception yes this point has an exception we cannot take it as a defining property because of this exception as i know that uh, actually not me <laughs> you all know that non living does not reproduce okay but how can i take this as an exception point like the sterile couple okay human beings due to certain uh, disease certain conditions they are sterile okay they can't reproduce so this is an exception worker bees have you seen bees i guess we all have so in that they have there uh, there is a division of works in which worker bees are also there okay so jo worker bees hote hain they are sterile and apart from that i have a more example that is mule it is an hybrid of hybrid of a donkey and horse okay because of this we cannot say that this is a defining character so not a defining property of living living organism clear so moving towards the fourth point what is our fourth point that is metabolism so quickly tell me what is metabolism have you heard this term before i hope you have heard so let me explain this for you that is metabolism is all the reactions going on going on in a cell or or organism is called as metabolism okay and these reactions are called as metabolic reactions okay so and these reactions only occur in the cells that's why they are called as uh, they have um, that's why the name is given the metabolic reaction otherwise uh, we all know that uh, in thermodynamics there are two type of reaction that is endothermic and exothermic reaction so we are not using that term over here because in the living system there are numerous number of uh, you know reactions are going through that is the formation of biomolecules through simple uh, like, uh, components and again the breakdown of these biomolecules in the simpler one then uh, to release the energy and formation of products so these are the reaction that is being carried in the cell carried out in the cell so these reactions are named as metabolic reactions clear so these reactions can be performed in in vitro that is in lab but the reaction still remains the living reactions so we can say that this is a defining property property of living organism clear and next now moving to the fifth point that is our cellular organization 
we know that cellular organization can be seen on in and only in the living organism that is the building block is cell then all cells come together to form group of cells come together to form tissues tissues come together to form organ organ come organs come together together to form organ system okay and this organ system forms a complete living organism okay so we can say that the living the cellular organization is also a defining property of a living organism clear up to here everything is clear i guess okay so now we have growth and reproduction okay which are not defining property of living organism whereas whereas we have metabolism consciousness and last one is cellular organization these three are the defining property of a living organism okay i get i hope everything is being clear till now now we are going to take up the next uh, point that is our nomenclature okay in the next video till then stay safe and do read this point as well and do watch the next